Here's a machine I was working on last night with a friend, a Viscosity Bird. Quite an early tape recorder. Went through and replaced all the non electrolytic capacitors and started to get sound, but it was very, very noisy, a lot of hum. We found the large 30 microfarad capacitors were failing. They, were, they hadn't failed, but they were failing. Um, so I've just bodged in a pair of 40 microfarads just to prove a point the machine works. Got replacements coming. So what will happen is we've got large cans. I'll take them out, cut the bottom off, scoop out the insides, put in two new capacitors inside to keep it nice and neat inside. Quite a basic machine really. I've got a capstan motor at the top there, and I've got a rewind motor. There's no fast forward on this machine, it's just forwards and backwards. Indicators on the top there. We've got a green light for play, We've got a red light for record. In the middle, we have got a indicator which will light up when you've got the record level just um, approaching too high. So you literally, when you're recording with this machine, you just want that light flashing, you don't want it constantly on. It's an unusual machine because in the top of the block here, we have the heads. So this machine is an oxide out. One of the very first British machines. It's also one of the very few that are run oxide out. The only other machine that I can think of, which is English, and has oxide out, is a BTR1. And we have the head block with the tape oxide out. When you approach the BTR2 stage, it's oxide in.